are a million different ways to kill and die in the wasteland. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Fallout weapons. In anticipation of Fallout 4, we'll be looking at those particular weapons fused with creativity and style. Whether it's original, powerful, or even just hilarious to use, weapons from any of the Fallout games are eligible here. In that case, I'm Nick Knack, and I take care of the general store around here. Number 10. Bottle Cap Mine. Fallout 3. All the kids of the apocalyptic wasteland need their lunchbox and pocket money, and they're halfway there to creating their own devastating mine with just that. Don't be fooled though, such a weapon is dangerous to handle even for the most experienced combatants in the Fallout universe. It uses bottle caps as shrapnel to tear foes apart after the initial explosion, if that didn't kill them already. Just lay a few of these bad boys down, turn around and walk away in slow-mo. Number 9. Laser Rifle. Fallout series. Like your typical rifle, only it shoots lasers. Doing extra damage isn't the only reason you'll be hoping to get criticals with this gun. Because any crits you do score that happen to kill your target will result in them disintegrating into ashes. Don't worry, you'll still be able to rummage through the ash pile and find any unscathed clothes, weapons, and other items they may have been carrying. If firing a single beam at a time isn't quite your thing, go ahead and whip out the Gatling laser. Again, like your typical Gatling gun, only, you know, with lasers. Number 8. Nuka Grenade. Fallout 3. Another craftable explosive device. This time, a key component is Nuka Cola Quantum, a favorite but rare drink among many citizens of the wasteland. If you're here with some quantum, I have caps with your name on them. Combining that with a Braxo cleaner and turpentine creates one hell of a reaction. Really, that's not an understatement. It explodes into bright blue and orange flames, acting also as an incendiary that sets targets alight. Just make sure you've got enough distance between you and them if you value your life and all your digits. Number 7. Mega Power Fist Fallout 2 With all these cool guns, why would anyone ever choose unarmed? Well, when a regular piston-operated metal glove for bashing heads is not enough, the Mega Power Fist should easily satisfy your murderous cravings. Inflicting twice as much damage as the regular Power Fist, it also requires twice as much energy to run, using up two small power cells. For the player who likes to get up close and personal, this weapon from Fallout 2 is a force to be reckoned with. Number 6. Fire Lance, Fallout 3. This is extremely easy to miss if you're not looking out for it. The Fire Lance can only be acquired through a random encounter with an exploding UFO. If you're lucky enough, it'll land in an easy place to reach. Once found, behold its alien power, as its power cells will set fire to anything it's shot at. Its common variant, the Alien Blaster, doesn't have the ability to set things on fire, though it is slightly stronger. If you like your enemies to roast before dropping, the Fire Lance is definitely the way to go. Number 5. Super Sledge, Fallout series. Seeing what a sledgehammer can do to brick walls is impressive. Imagining what that would do to a human sends shivers down our spine. Now, take that thought and replace the sledgehammer with something even more devastating. The Super Sledge. The Super Sledge is a high-tech weapon backed by kinetic force, and once it makes contact, well, make sure your eyes are closed so the spray of blood and body parts don't get in your eyes. Number 4. The Rock It Launcher. Fallout 3. Just because you're out of conventional bullets doesn't mean you have to resort to melee combat. Making better use of your old junk than having a garage sale, the Rock It Launcher fires random useless items at enemies with surprising results. Although it requires lots of action points and bats, it's great fun to use 
and once you kill a raider by firing a teddy bear at his face, you won't want to switch weapons. Number 3. Railway Rifle, Fallout 3. There's no doubt that you've come across a lot of railway spikes in your journey. Let's just hope you didn't get rid of them before you figured out what they're used for. Enter the Railway Rifle, one of the most satisfying weapons to use. Laugh in sadistic joy as your railway spikes decapitate foes and pin their heads to walls, all with a comical toot-toot of a train whistle. Just pay another visit to a ghoul-infested metro to stock up on ammo and more ghouls to behead. Number 2. The Shish Kebab Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas You might as well go ahead and call yourself the Warrior of Light with this weapon. A plain old regular sword just isn't enough. Set it on fire, now that'll do the trick. Appropriately named, the Shish Kebab's blade comes straight from a lawnmower, and the fuel to keep it alight comes from a motorcycle tank. Now, I know what you're thinking, but it's just the name of the weapon, nothing else, no matter how good that person you just murdered smells. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. The Fat Man, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas You can't have Fallout without nuclear power, literally. With the Fat Man, the power that destroyed the world as you know it is in the palm of your hands. Actually, you have to hold it with two hands. It is, after all, firing mini nukes. Watch in awe as you decimate landscapes with its catapult. Though, if that doesn't scare you, go ahead and use the unique variant of this weapon, the Experimental Merv, which fires eight mini nukes instead of one. Sometimes, one just isn't enough. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite Fallout weapon? For more inventive top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.